Welcome to the Abstraction Training in Clinics MD. Chart abstraction is one of the steps to make your patients ready to be seen electronically. In this training session, we will be going over how to add some historical information into the electronic patient's chart. The tabs we will be going over are medical history, current medications, and allergies. To start your historical encounter that you will be abstracting for a patient, you're first going to select the patient. You can do this in two ways. The first way is to click on the icon that when you hover over your mouse it says select patient. Or you can go to the menus at the top of the screen and go patient, select patient. Then you can go ahead and search for whatever criteria the patient has, their last name, first name, even by their date of birth. Then you'll hit the search button. When you find your patient, you'll just click on them, and then at the bottom, you can go ahead and select a little bit more information. So once you have your patient selected, I can then say I'm going to create a brand new encounter, then hit select at the very bottom. The next piece that pops up is the new encounter. Make sure you have the correct contracted provider for who this patient sees. If they see a nurse practitioner, you can go ahead and put the healthcare provider in. Next thing we're going to change is the visit type. It should actually be historical encounter. We're going to keep it at the office. Make sure you change the location. And again, it's for an established patient. Then simply hit OK. Once the encounter is opened, the first tab we're going to go to is the allergy tab. You can see the allergy tab is broken up into three different sections. We have our drug family, our specific drug, and our non-drug allergies. If the patient has no known drug allergies, all you'll do is simply select the no known drug allergy button at the top of the screen. When it's clicked, it will automatically add no known drug allergies with the actual start date. The nice thing about this button is that then if the patient comes in with another type of an allergy, you can go ahead and search for it and it will automatically inactivate no known drug allergies and also add an end date for you so that you don't have conflicting information. To add a brand new drug family, all you do is hit the add button at the top of the screen and search for what drug family you're looking for. Drug families would be like sulfas, your penicillins. Very easily search for the medication, hit search. It'll bring up your allergy. You can add to selected and then hit select. Note that it already inactivated no known drug allergies and also put the end date in for me. At this point, you can also go ahead and select your reactions. So whatever type of reaction they have when they have a sulfa medication. You can search for it or you can very easily scroll through the list as well. I'm just going to select rash and hit OK at the bottom of the screen. Then I can go ahead and add another reaction if I want to or if I just have the one reaction I can go ahead and hit OK. Specific drug works a little bit differently. In the specific drug area, we're going to go ahead and search for a specific medication the patient happens to be allergic to. In order to do that, you simply hit the Add button and search for their specific medication. Here's my Xanax. I can hit Add to Selected and then Select. Again, we have the choice of putting in a reaction if I so choose to. We also have an area for notes, so if there's any other notes you'd like to add to that specific allergy, you can. And the bottom portion is the non-drug allergy, and I can simply hit Add here and select what type of non-drug allergy this patient has. Now, if the allergy is not listed here, I can very easily hit New Allergy at the bottom left corner, type in my allergy, and hit Save. When I hit Save, it not only adds it to the list for you to select again for a different patient, but it'll also add it to the patient's chart. Again, you have the reaction area as well as your notes. The next tab we'll be going over is the Medical History tab. To add the medical history for this patient, you're going to go ahead and look at their old record, find out what type of medical history the patient has. 
First thing you're going to do is hit the edit button at the top of the screen and it's going to bring up four different boxes. In the first box we have our history types, our past family and social histories. In box two we have all the categories that fall underneath that history type. So for example under past medical history I have medical history, surgical history, and skin related histories. Underneath those categories you then have box three which are all the descriptions that you can choose that the patient has currently in their history. When you select each one It'll drop it down to box four, which is actually the patient's medical history record. Now to select the information into box number four, you can either do what I just did by double clicking on any of these descriptions, or you can click once on the description and hit the add button at the very bottom of the screen. Once you've added the description, you have an area where you can add in any explanation, maybe when they contracted that condition, um, in surgical histories, you can do the date in which they had the surgery done, maybe the facility or the doctor who went ahead and did it. So it just gives you another area that you can make extra notes about that specific uh, medical history record. What I can do now is just move right on to my next history. I can go in here and type in, like I stated, when they had the, the surgery done. Also, maybe there was a specific doctor who did the surgery. And then I can move right on to any of my other history types. Family history I can go to and mark, okay, well, mother is still living, father is living. Social histories that they do caffeine, and then I can use the explanation area to mark how many cups or what they drink. So I'm going to do coffee, one cup. Exercise, you can also do other exercise type and type in what the other exercises that they do. And when you're completed with all the different histories, all you have to do at the very bottom is hit close. And it'll go ahead and add all of your history types. The second part of medical history for abstraction reasons is our substance abuse at the bottom. So again, you're going to check the patient's old record and mark what type of a smoker they are. So you'll click the box next to discuss smoking history with patient. You'll then search through the first drop-down list as to what kind of a smoker they are. The next area gives you the smoking type, and then you also have a note box where you can put maybe how many packs per day they smoke, or if they are a um, if they quit smoking, you can put in the note box when they quit. The other tab we have under substance abuse allows you to mark whether or not they abuse other substances like alcohol, drugs, non-smoking tobacco. You can select the specific substance. You can also make notes how many drinks per day, etc. And then you can keep adding till all of the substances that they are abusing are added to this bottom section. The next tab we're going to go over is the RxDx list. In the RxDx list, the only portion we're going to work with today for abstraction reasons is the medical uh, medication list. So from here, all you're going to do is hit the add at the top right hand side and search for that medication that the patient currently is on. We do have your clinic list that you can go ahead and easily select from by clicking on the name and hitting add to selected. This allows you to go right back up to the top and type in your next medication that you're searching for. We also have the all list so if in case it's a medication that doesn't fall in your clinic list we have it available for you in our all list. You type the medication in, you can hit enter on your keyboard like I just did, or you can hit search in the top right hand corner. Select the medication that you want and hit add to selected. You can continue adding the medications to the added to selected area until you are complete. Then hit select at the bottom right corner. It's going to then add all the medications to the patient's list. And from here you can then change the details on the right hand side. So if they take it more than once a day, maybe they take it every 12 hours. If um, it's an external medication, meaning a medication that another doctor has given, you can mark it as external and in the notes put what doctor gives it to them or a cardiologist, a dermatologist to keep record for that as well. Once you've done adding all the medications that the patient currently has in their historical encounter, you've added all of your allergies that the patient currently has, and you've added all of your medications, including substance abuse and your medical history. You then can check your progress note if you so choose 
to see all of the information that you've added in. When you are complete with this abstraction, historical encounter, the last thing you'll do is close the encounter. So in the lower left hand corner, you'll hit close encounter. You'll make sure that close encounter is checked off and hit OK. Thank you for attending our abstraction training in Clinics MD. If you have any current questions, please contact your implementation manager. Thank you.